Welcome to the July Spotlight on Investments, brought to you by ProducersWeb.com. I'm Paul Wilson, and in this broadcast, we'll cover some of this topic's biggest trends and most insightful research. This Spotlight on Investments is sponsored by Financial Independence Group. Our products are strong, but our strength is in our people. For more information, please visit joinfig.com. Municipal funds that post their figures weekly reported $676.1 million in new money from investors during the week ended July 7th, according to Lipper FMI. Propelled by $1.28 billion of market gains, the municipal fund industry's assets now exceed $500 billion for the first time. The increase followed a $232.3 million outflow the previous week, which was just a third since the end of 2008. All municipal funds, including those that report their figures monthly, have been posting inflows at a pace of $296.8 million a week, based on the four-week moving average. The Hedge Fund Research Inc., or HFRI, fund weighted composite index lost 0.81% in June, more than offsetting the gains in the first five months of the year, to leave the index down 0.18% for the first half of 2010. Equity hedge funds posted the worst performance in the second quarter, with the sub-index declining 1.50% in June, bringing returns for the first half to negative 1.60%. Relative value arbitrage was the strongest area of industry performance, with the HFRI relative value total index gaining 0.4% for June and 3.66% for the first half of the year. In its annual review of U.S. economic conditions, the International Monetary Fund, or IMF, revealed that while economic recovery in the U.S. has been stronger than expected, growth is expected to slow throughout the next few years. According to the IMF, quote, while still modest by historical standards, the recovery has proved stronger than we had earlier expected, unquote. Due in part to policy response and improved financial conditions, U.S. gross domestic product is expected to grow at an annual rate of 3.3 percent this year. However, in 2011, growth is expected to slow to 2.9%, a rate that will likely reach 2.6% by 2015. I'm Paul Wilson, and thanks for watching the Spotlight on Investments. To see more video spotlights on your favorite products and practices, find them on producersweb.com and browse by topic.